You, you, you speak as if there's a rating for this interview. There isn't. <laughs> so we can say yes, like even twice. Yeah, sure. Oh my god. Oh my. You can god. say it even three times if you want. It. Oh my god. We've only done it once now, and I, I feel like that was wasted. I only named it for yes. Sake. <laughs> oh, that oh was better. That was that, oh that felt god. a bit better. <laughs> I'm turned on and having it uh, recording you. Um, you use a software that is attached to a 3D model. Oh, so it's kind of like yeah. um, a live sort of. Does it does it does it um, record you and a video and turn it into a model, or is it like a motion capture thing, sort of? No, it's a it's 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 very basic motion capture. Oh, so it basically, so you, just you make vibe. the model on your own, and then you put that model on a software, and that right, software right, right. attaches it to the camera, so right. that you can, so the the model kind of tracks you. your head movements a little. Got you. Is, Got you. I only started recently doing this, and it's because I found the the, the software that that very there's a there's a free software called Vroid that people use to make really basic anime looking models. And I just started doing it. Out of, I just started making one out of curiosity. And at first, I wasn't going to do anything with it because the options for male models are very limited. Then, <laughs> then I found out how to export the shirt textures, Ooh. and a whole new world of putting memes and dumb lines on T-shirts opened up for me. Louis, you probably have Very like nice. twenty different shirts now. <laughs> thirteen. I'm at thirteen. Only thirteen. Okay. Only 13, I know, I know, yes. <laughs> With 13 shirts on VTube, basically. I have, like, 13 models, and the only difference is that they all have a different shirt. Alright! <laughs> and then I just pick it on the program VC face, which is the, the one that actually, like, tracks the webcam and all that. Very and then cool. I just play video games on Twitch with that model, and if it freaks out, then that just makes it funnier. Oh, so, like, you, basically, you can use that model to also stream on other platforms so on Twitch it's not it's not VTube its own platform kind of here let me yeah. i'm i'm going to link a picture of the most recent shirt i did i think i linked it to my wife because man my wife is loving all this stupid stuff i'm doing he has a shirt that just says fuck and that's it <laughs> <gasps> you said the it's a PG-13 again. stream guys <laughs> not anymore <laughs> no cuz it's only one no, but we had we had two before already. We have we have, we have four. No, that was uh, that was fuck number four, and that was just f number five. Oh my five. god, we, had, we <laughs> just had another one. Jesus. Showing up. Oh uh, my god, we uh, are going to be like you know whatever rated above thirty or something. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay, well here's the, here's the here's the funny thing with YouTube. You can't swear on YouTube. You just can't swear the during the first minute. That's how it is. I think that's how that works. Is you, oh. you're just you just don't swear or anything for the first minute, and then after that, you can just say whatever you want. <laughs> but I, I mean, I watch YouTubers who swear all the time. It's quite common, isn't it? Or maybe it just reduces. Like, I it's, think for like a, some ad stuff or something, right? It's a know. monetization thing. Like they, you, yeah, you, yeah, that's you get demonetized mm. if you swear. There's like certain rules, but if you, I, I, the only rule I know off my head is that if you swear during the first minute, you can't monetize it or something like that. Mm, it's weird. I, I I know basic YouTube things. So I, it's whatever. <laughs> I, just, I just post things. I just, I just mark it as not for kids and don't care. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask you about on the subject of streaming. So you met you met <laughs> Corinne and uh, yeah. she was telling me she was telling me about telling you that you should ask about how to stream and stuff because apparently it, <laughs> apparently it came up when you guys were talking and well, I mean, I was just, I think we were just talking and I, I thought like, I think she said that I should, uh, uh, or some people have said that maybe I should stream like yourself playing, playing the game Journey or something, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't really know how to do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know if I, I will do it. Maybe I will at some point. I, um, I don't know. I mean, if you... I guess it's kind of, it's, I guess it's kind of like, um, I, yeah, like I know some people who do streaming. Um, I'm just not sure. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like it's interesting because I play games just sometimes a bit for fun. If I'm if I'm on camera, then it feels a bit like I'm working, sort of. I don't know. 
I I'm just I'm just playing a game to have fun. I'm not there for like I don't yeah. I don't I, I I I stream, but I I just play for myself basically. So yeah. right. my so my reason of streaming is mostly more for my for building my own self confidence, but also I okay. have so many games. And uh, sometimes, you know, you have that feeling where you want to do something, but then you can't get yourself to do it, basically. Like, you know you want to do it, mm -hmm. but you're just not feeling it that day, right? So right. I stream to so I can not feel that and actually, you know, play my games that I have. Because, yes, I want to play them. I just don't feel like playing them for whatever okay. reason. So I, I stream... It's a lot easier when you force yourself to have a schedule. I just finished another game recently, so... That, kind of that's... has the same energy as when you're playing a video game and you've got a bunch of people sitting on the couch around you. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of how mm. I approach streaming. Like, yeah, some people do it for for like you know just for work purposes, but like I, mm. I how I see it is what Lewis is like uh, interpreting it. It's just you just got a couch full of friends just watching you play the game. Oh, that's kind of, that sounds kind of fun, actually. Yeah. yeah, that's specifically the reason why I decided to try the whole VTubing thing instead of just. Because yeah, I don't like being on camera. Me neither. Mm. <laughs> There's a it does not. <laughs> it makes me immensely uncomfortable. And I mean, um, that was not ever going to be mm. a thing I did while streaming. But I like the idea of like a dumb little avatar that I can make jokes with or about. Yeah. And it's just been not... kind of a slow progression. That makes sense. I think it's. I guess the thing is for me, of course, like being an actor, it's kind of like. I don't mind being on screen, but at the same time, when I am on camera, then it kind of... Like I said, it's a sort of work mode in a way, right? You... Gotta be careful um... not to pick your nose while you're playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I never pick my nose, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's even Who more does hilarious. that? You. <laughs> it's even more hilarious when you got the beat You put anything in front of the camera in your face, and it freaks out. Oh uh, no! <laughs> so it's like pick your nose, and you have a little mini seizure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you ever express interest, because Corin came to me because I I do stream, mm -hmm. but uh, the program I use is not free. I mean, I have a I have a lifetime subscription to it, so I don't have to pay for it anymore. So right, the I have OBS, and that's yeah, free. Yeah, the person that you would talk to is probably Lewis over here, who actually uses the free program, and he'll teach you everything <laughs> okay. about streaming and stuff, and. I, I, I even, like, I did joke about it on the DM, but I was willing to offer to just sit there and just, like, host or moderate with you or just help you out through the process as you go through okay. the game. I wouldn't tell you how to, like, get anything, like, going through the game. I would just sit there and be like, okay. Actually, I'm going to tell I, you I just right have, now. I have, I'm... I have popcorn. I'm ready to go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now because I'm very proud of it. Every single thing I have done to be able to stream has been completely free. The only okay. thing that isn't free was the equipment I got to be able to stream from video game consoles. Well, thankfully, Fair the enough. great Ace Attorney is on the PC, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so if that's it, yeah, I, I, everything I, I got, I can you can just do it for free. Yep. Hmm. Completely so free. There is no down payment on anything. So how does it work? Do you set up, do you just use your, your, like, if you, oh wait, you, but you stream, Tysa, you don't stream, um, do you stream with video, or do you stream just with your voice also, and, just and showing my, the game? Just my voice in the game, and I have chat up. Okay. Okay. And, so you don't do that avatar thing that, um, that Louis is doing? No. No, this is something I started doing recently. Oh. You don't even have to do that. I mean, you're an actor. If you want to just put your webcam of yourself on there, that's fine too. Or if you just want to not have a webcam, <laughs> it's not yeah. necessary. Yeah, I guess people also like just just have you. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll it's think about like it. Most things, the audience will find you. You don't find the audience. I suppose. Yeah. Um... Well, if you're ever interested, you know where to reach us. I, yes, <laughs> you know what? I'll have a think if it's something. I mean, may, maybe I'll give it a try at some point. But um, I'm I'm very non-committal. I always need to think about stuff for a long time and be like, No, oh, that's that's fair. <laughs> I get you. This man. is a no pressure yes. zone. Thank you, thank you. That's very that's very nice. No, but um, yeah, maybe maybe it'll be fun to do that one 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 day. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm willing to help you out because I. I at least for me, I like watching people who go through the game for the first time because there's so many fun twists mm. in that game. So it's just it's fun to see how people take those like uh, uh, surprises when they come up in the game, basically. 
That is true. I, 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 I mean, what you say kind of like, oh, like having your mates kind of on the sofa with you. When I played it with my friend also, and then a second time we played it, one of her, her, you know, neighbor joined us, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of like just, you know, seeing how, like you say, how other people react and stuff, and then also kind of figuring out like, and you were, oh, this is, this is what happened or something. I was very proud when, when in the, the whole, you've both played the, that's the first case, right? With the steak plate and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's when the first I, case. When I saw the little symbol, I think was the symbol on his... The ball, the ball. On his hand, on his wrist. The on burn. his wrist, right? Yeah, the burn. The burn, exactly, exactly, from the plate. And I was like, oh, look, look, it's that one. <laughs> it's always a great feeling when you can find stuff look, on your look, own. Look, it's on his wrist. I found out I'm an attorney. Mm. <laughs> now you too can be a lawyer in real life. <laughs> exactly, yes. Just beat this game and you qualify. As we all... As we all know, Pretty video much. game knowledge is applicable in real life. Absolutely. Or like in the game, you just you know you don't get you like, like you don't get convicted for murder, and that makes you a lawyer, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. My my Fair entire enough. playthrough is literally taking my friends through the games for the first time because they've never done it. So hmm. yeah, it's so especially th hilarious after you cast me as Phoenix Wright that I haven't played a single Ace Attorney game. You just have a good Phoenix Wright voice, in my opinion, so... Apparently! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I, like... I, I, I don't know how much you watch of my other stuff, because, like, I... I For a while, I actually was someone who was, like, doing all... I was the director, the casting, the script, and everything for a while, because I like doing... I like picking up games where there's a lot of dialogue, but there's no yeah. voice acting. So, like, I just like reading right. out dialogue a lot, so... That's what I did for a while, but now I'm just tired because I'm old. <laughs> but I, uh, so it's also very hard to coordinate and organize that kind of thing while also playing the games and providing your voice and looking over the script and talking mm. to every single I, person to make sure that they get their lines on time for something that is basically being done completely free. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that I, sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it, it was definitely a lot of work doing the. Uh, the Japanese version of the Great Ace Attorney, that's for sure, because, like, I... The only reason I, I was able to go through it was because I actually had a friend who... Tr now, she's a champ. She translated the entire game. And it was, like, translated in a way where it was actually readable, like, naturally English and everything. So she's the real champ here. And the only reason why we had, like, all those, like, videos out... Uh, of the Japanese Grace Attorney was because. Wait a second, that her. wasn't like some fan translation you found online. That was something your friend did. Yeah, my friend oh my trans. God. Yeah, she translated both games on her what, own. What of, of Ace Attorney? No, they're just just the Great Ace Attorney. Both games. She she translated, but but there was a fan translation as well, right? That no, she was translating before that was that was a thing. Oh really? Yeah, she's she's actually Holy shit. That's I, a shit ton of work. She's she's literally the first in, in my opinion. So like, uh, yeah. she she's she's a blessing. And the only reason this the only reason why I've been so exposed to so much Grace Attorney for as long as I have is because of her. Because like she did everything, and I had the script, and you know I just did all the work right there. And she, but like. We wouldn't have what we have if it wasn't for her, basically. But yeah, she's amazing, and like I really hope that you know, I just like she because she wants she likes doing that stuff. But I really hope one day she like gets like a, like some kind of localization or translation job because she's just so fantastic. Like if she can pull that yeah. off, she deserves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the script that we used for when you voice for DGS for when we voice the videos for DGS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that was her script. I, I didn't, uh, the only time I did anything with it was just to touch up any missing words, basically, because I basically kind of became a proofreader for it, because I was, like, one of the few people who was looking over it, since I actually was going to be using the script, so, it, it was a lot, and, you know, she pretty much only did it for practice, basically, <laughs> but she, yeah, it, it got to a point, it was kind of scary, because I was, she had, she had finished the first case for, let's say, the second game, and as I was streaming the first game, she was finishing the script for the second case. It was ridiculous how fast she was getting it done. And I'm just like, girl, you need to get paid for this. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, if you do... Because translation is, is, is difficult. Like, I mean, I, I've been asked sometimes to translate even, like, German or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not particularly... I don't know. Maybe I'm also not that keen on it. But when I had have translated in the past, even with languages I speak very well it's um 
it's difficult, you know, <laughs> because you're constantly sitting there and thinking like, how do I say this in another language rather than being like, oh, because I'm just it's a it's a it. different because it's a different thinking method yeah, when you try yeah, to when you try yeah. to think of another Absolutely. language. Like, but I I saw that you also know French, which is like Godspeed, man. I hear French is like oh my struggle. French is very basic. Wait, my how French... many languages do you know? <laughs> no, I mean my Dutch, Dutch, German, and English. Um, I speak, you know, pretty well, <laughs> and. Uh, um, uh, Japanese is also relatively fluent, but my reading and writing isn't that great. My French is just basic, really. It's uh, I think uh, that might have been on my acting profile I've put that, but um, no, I... it's by, by no means... Um, good. I mean, I had to do my research at the time, and it did it did come <laughs> up on one of your bios, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> French? <laughs> Because I, I don't well, know, from, from all the people I know, even even my friends who are actually French, or they all, they say the language is just, it's, it's mean, hard. I don't know. Like, I, I, I always think, like, most languages are not, are, like, similarly hard or easy. It's just kind of, like, depends on where you come from, um, you know, because Japanese is very different from... Uh, most western languages so it's quite hard for people but the japanese language itself is in many ways quite simple i mean there are two tenses present and past and there's no um there's no no um not a lot of conjugation or declination or something like that it's 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 there's just these suffixes and uh, 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 connecting words. It's a lot of um, it's a lot of contexting because, like, I know sometimes, like, with Japanese, like, uh, you just you just drop the subject altogether if you know what it is already. Ooh. Basically, it's absolutely pretty, you drop pretty, you drop I, everything. I, like, uh, you drop everything. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, I, you know everything. Context, like, it's just. Yeah, it, it's just pretty. I guess it's kind of straightforward, but at the same time, it's just like I, I'm just bad with particles. That's where I get stuck. Yeah. in. particles is just like, I. I it's, that's where I get stuck sometimes when I try to learn the language because it's like, what do I put there? <laughs> you mean is it is it is it wa is it is it wa or is right, it right, is right. it o or is it o or is it ga? I mean, I, like that one's the two that get mixed up a lot. But truthfully, truthfully, it's not that important. Like, it yeah, of course, if you want to get it perfectly right, yes, there is a difference. But half the time, if you're gonna say wa or ga. Like it's also a different in, a difference in emphasis, right? Like yeah. if you say wa sometimes, then it's a bit stronger emphasis. Um, but um, people most of the time are still gonna. I, I think the th important thing with languages is also like it's about communicating, right? It's not about getting everything right. It's about if I say something, is the other person gonna understand me, right? So yeah. in the end, if you if you're doing if you're saying things that are not perfectly right. That's still fine. So these, like, I, I think a lot of people can sometimes get hung up on on these little things with languages. It's not really that important, frankly. I don't know. Well, um, in in casual conversation, I I, I imagine yeah. it's much it, the the rules are much more lax. But like, let's say I'm taking the JLPT test. You know, that's you sure. need th that's a that's thing. They're, 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 that's they're, where they're good. They're in a bunch. You know, <laughs> I was I was trying to apply for the N five last year, and oh right. my oh my god, the the website was breaking. It was like people were trying to apply. There were so many people trying to apply for the test that it just. Oh. It the website kept crashing and it was got to a point where they extended it, but it didn't even matter because they got too many people applying, so they just shut it, the whole thing down before the deadline. Like there's like a set date, oh. they they closed the whole thing before like uh, they reached that deadline. It was crazy. Uh, but well, yeah, was it like particularly a popular time for people to want to it's, study take a Japanese test? Or? Uh, it's more like the JLPT is only, they only come up for a, a limited time per year, like for at least oh. at least for the location that I can take the test for me they oh, only yeah. they only mm -hmm. run it once a year. So right. that's yeah, that's why it got ridiculous, especially with the pandemic and not a lot of people were able to go out for a lot, for like a couple yeah. of years, so like the applications got they piled up so much that i just didn't have a chance so that's fair enough yeah is n5 the highest one or? lowest n5 oh yeah i i don't know if you have that anything like that in i mean in i did because EU. i did jlpt it they changed it at some point but it used to be that i think one was the most difficult and i think i did two which was the second most difficult but now 
it might have changed the other way around as a higher number. Uh, or something? Uh, I don't well, know. I, I'm assuming. Okay, you have you have J JLPT then, yeah, over there. Like I uh, uh, well, I did it in Japan when I was in Japan. Okay, so there was. I think J JLPT is a, is an international like that's like from the japanese government or something or i don't know <laughs> it's a test that we have to take <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like, well it, i suppose it is if you want to do something in japan i don't know if you want to work in japan or is that part of you what you do or uh i, I want to travel to japan oh oh there, right. i have i have such a i have such a funny story for that one but i'll, I'll hold off on that but um, okay but uh, I, I don't know when, like, I know for a while, JLPT initially only had four levels. So it was N4. Exactly. N4 was the lowest, yeah. N1 is the highest. But then they added, N, right. they yeah. added N5. So that's, the, that's right. currently the new lowest of that way you can start oh, okay. with. Uh, but right. I've been slacking on my studies, though. I keep telling myself, okay, well, if I can't get into N5, I'll try for N4 next year. And then I, and then I just slacked yeah. off. <laughs> I just for. I, I I want to go back and study again anyway, just because like N five is pretty much. I feel like I'm at least know enough to pass N five at this point, but I might go mm -hmm. ahead and push for N four if I'm able to apply, because just because I have all this extra time now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I uh, um I initially just wanted just Japanese just so I can actually understand what I'm watching half the time. <laughs> maybe yeah. I don't maybe I don't want to wait for a dub. Maybe I just actually want to learn read because I actually have a couple of like mm -hmm. Japanese uh, novels that are sitting around where I I was like I tell myself oh, I'll just I'll just learn to read this later and then I never did. But yeah, I have like a bunch of Japanese novels that just sitting around that I want to like read one day. So that's pretty much my reason. And the other Fair was enough. the yeah. other is I do want to go to Japan. I have never been to Japan yet, so. <sighs> and the funny story about that is before the pandemic. So this was you know 2019, I guess. I don't know. Was, I don't. This pandemic is just messing up my <laughs> time. Before before all that, we had already it's been 84 years. Yes. It should be it. It should be again. We have a new what BC and AC or something, right? Before COVID, and <laughs> after COVID. Oh no. Oh. Problem is, problem is there that is like no you know, after COVID, COVID, yet. COVID, COVID, and Christ is the same letter. So like, it doesn't work so well, does it? There. Well, you know? the problem is there is no after yet. We're still in this, no matter what people. Not think. yet. Not yet. But uh, um, you know, there there will be eventually, maybe. Uh, I wanted to go to Japan. I almost did. But I had the worst luck ever. I swear to God, I think I had Naruhodo's luck at that time because Aww. no, no, because the first time you were accused of murder. What? No, no, no. It's just everything was against us because the first no, to time to have Naruhodo's luck, you have to be accused of murder twice. Okay, okay. Well, there were two incidents that did happen. So. Oh my God, Tyson! I was kidding. <laughs> um. Well, the first time we tried to go, there was a, a certain typhoon called Hagibis. Oh. And uh, that can't no, what really frustrated me was that there were two flights that were leaving around the same time. Our flight was leaving around the same time as the other one. That flight left. Our flight canceled. And I think that's what was the most frustrating thing. I was already in Texas. I, I was there to go to like to the connection flight and our flight canceled. So that didn't happen. So the second time we tried was in the spring. Guess what happened in the spring after pandemic? So yeah, uh mm. So, like, I, I don't know, I, just, I, I feel like I'm cursed and not able to go to Japan because we tried twice, and something... That's pretty, that's yeah, pretty annoying. Yeah, and it's just, like, I, I don't know, like, it was, like, both incidents were just things out of our hands. There was nothing we could have done at that point, so it was yeah. very frustrating, and I'm still trying. Like, it, it's impossible now because, my understanding, I think the borders is still closed, yeah, in Japan? Um, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know, to be honest. Exactly, I haven't looked into going into Japan um, lately, um, but they might be. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. But I think they. they I, I, I mean, I'm sure this year, as things go on, they they will open up again. I think. I don't know. Um, but and it's you've. Uh, you, I know you've been to Japan. How how many times have you been there? Um, a few times as a kid, and then as a grown up, I I. Um, I spent a year there, um, and that was like quite a while ago. So, um, so you had Japan, you went to so America. Thinking, yeah, I, I, 
I spent a year there when I was two thousand in two thousand eight, two thousand eight and nine, I think, and then I went just before the pandemic. I actually went again because I hadn't gone in literally ten years, I think. Um, and I was like, oh, I should go again. It was kind of like when when you're acting. It, after I went to drama school in London, and afterwards, I think for a long time you have this sort of, or I at least had this sort of sense. It, of it being hard to plan anything in advance because you're afraid like oh what if you get like a big cast you get a gig or something, or something. You know? yeah and you get mm -hmm. a gig exactly you know or and and for a long time i you know i only if i went on a little holiday it was kind of last minute or something you know yeah and after a few years of that i was just like that is so stupid you know i gotta just live my life you know um so yeah, in 2020, I decided, yeah, this is gonna be the year that I travel, and um, <laughs> so almost... and I did, I did a little bit. So 2019, we... end of 2019, I went to, I went on like a week long holiday to the Canary Islands. So that was my first like long holiday in I think seven years or something. And then 2020 January, I went to Japan. And um, so that was January, mid-January to mid-February. Mm -hmm. And back then it was starting to be on the news, of course, um, the, the big C. And, uh, um, the, but the, I big like that, the big C, that's C. great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, yeah. and then uh, I came back mid-February and um, yeah, the rest, we know what happened, I guess, you know. But I, I'm very happy that I ma managed to... to uh, go um and it wasn't it wasn't cancelled you know if i had planned it for a bit later um, yeah it would have been impossible at this point would have been uh yeah i mean like my brother actually was in botswana and i think it was in march 2020 and it's crazy to think now but like even when covid was in like he had planned it, he was like ah, i'm just gonna go it'll be fine you know <laughs> and then like italy went into lockdown or whatever and then like Turkey closed its. Uh, I think Tur he had a Turkish Airlines flight, and Turkey closed its borders. Yeah. Um, and then so his return flight was cancelled effectively. Like they didn't. I think they did hadn't cancelled it, but he knew that he wasn't going to take it. And then it was all right. I think I got to go back. So he he managed to get the last flight back from Johannesburg. So he had to get to Johannesburg from Botswana. Mm -hmm. And then the following day, they shut the border, and so you would have been stuck in South Africa. <laughs> um, oh, it was, that's it's a terrible. That would have been awful. Time. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it was a crazy time. Um, so, so since so far every question has somehow led to politics or the big C, <laughs> here's a I got a palate cleanser question for okay, you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that you've got some video game, now that you've got some experience voicing characters in video games, uh, yeah. I was curious: is there like a character or game series that you would really love to voice or that's like a dream oh, role for you or something? I think that was um, actually one of the questions I want to stick into, so yes. I mean, I think I I think I auditioned for something that, that would have been almost that and I didn't get it, so that was kind of pretty disappointing. Um the Final Fantasy would be also a big one, I think. Um so yeah, I mean, I, 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 what else would be Final Fantasy? I mean, if they do another Half Life, I'd love to voice that. Oh, um, okay, good luck maybe with like, that. Maybe like 30 years from now when they do Half Life 3. <laughs> well, like, it all, it, everybody's still waiting maybe, for that Half Life. <laughs> I feel like if they do another Half Life, it's going to be like sort of in a Half Life not even, Alex it's not, not like not VR, it's going to be like a, a, like a whole new thing that we don't even understand yet. Like something fully, that's going to be fully like, immersive video game. Like, Let's like go. well, maybe something like a, what is it like in Total Recall or something? It's just like a memory or something, you know, that, <laughs> that they just implant in you or something. Like you just get the memory of having played the game. Oh, so so basically <laughs> the Matrix. Okay. The me That's gonna no, be Half-Life Alex. Something. Too. Like a new thing, a new medium that we, we can't even conceive yet or something. But um what else? Well, yeah, Final Fantasy would be cool. Um uh what else? What is it? I mean like I guess I've gone a little bit off Blizzard, you know, for like obvious reasons in the past couple of years. They've uh, not been yeah. I've been saying I, I, I um, also I used to play Overwatch, so yeah, I feel you. 
I was um, a huge StarCraft fan, and I've kind of weaned myself off of that a little in yeah. recent times. Well, also Diablo 3 just wasn't all that exciting, and then they announced this Diablo Immortal thing, which made everyone really mad. <laughs> oh, um, God. And, um, is, is Diablo Immortal the do you not have phones thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is that what it is? Or not? I do actually know that reference for once. I, like I said, because Diablo was a game I always played, so I kind of just looked that up sometime and it was like you guys have phones right <laughs> and then a guy a guy asked was like is this some kind of like elaborate practical joke or something <laughs> oh is this an off-season april fool's joke oh that's what it was you you got good <laughs> memory man like <laughs> i remember that that was a pretty I'm good I'm impressed line. that you can't, honestly, because I only remember the you guys don't have that phone was... part. Jeez. <laughs> uh, no, I remember seeing that in real time. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, freaking um, video game industry. I'm thinking what other series would be fun? Final, I think Final Fantasy is pretty, pretty cool. Um, you know, I would I'm love... Sure they, I don't think... I don't, see, I don't know if they'll actually get anyone from the from the EU for this, but, man, I would love to see you in, like, any of, like, the... Uh, any of the Yakuza or the Judgment games? Oh my god. Uh, if you've heard any of those themes? The Yakuza series? Uh, I haven't played it. I like because I still don't have a console. I guess it, it's it, they're PC console now. games, aren't they? No, it's are on they? PC oh. now, yeah. Yeah, you can get it on Maybe Steam. I, check it out. I think the and thing honestly, is also, if you like role playing games, I would suggest the Yakuza like a dragon. So the other thing is nowadays, because I'm I'm a very casual gamer now, and I like because like I played a lot to the extent that it was sometimes too much <laughs> oh, no. and um yeah. i i i so i actually now i don't i don't even have a very like well, I, I have a macbook and um so i've i've i can i've got like um windows on but basically i i play like very old games um so i anything that's newer than 10 years old i probably won't be able to run on my mac <laughs> and that's kind of partially like uh to protect myself but maybe as i grow to protect myself from basically playing too much and um but maybe maybe at some point uh, in the future i will get a like something that i can play a bit better on i think i have better self-control now than i used to have when i was younger so maybe no, i will be able in to you. play you can do What's it that? i believe in you <laughs> thank you that's like i said nice. like I, I i just put up a schedule for myself so like i don't that's very good don't yeah it, so like I, I was not able to do that ever, really, when I played. I mean... Um, oh, when I was for, younger, and forget it. But, like, nowadays, yeah. it's like, okay, okay. I, I, I gotta set some boundaries here. <laughs> exactly. Well, like, no, for, me, it was a, for me, it was a matter of, like, yeah, when I was younger, it was definitely an issue of I played too many games and I had to stop playing so many games. But now it's an issue of I have so many other responsibilities that I don't have the time to play <laughs> video games. So I stream yeah. so that I can make time to play some video games. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess that's how that's how life changes, isn't it? <laughs> I guess if uh, since we're on the subject of just having time to do anything, if you mm -hmm. weren't actually doing acting and uh, and such, was there anything else you were interested in uh, pursuing? Um. Yeah. Well, one thing I still think about potentially um, doing maybe over the next couple of years depending on how busy I am with acting and, and stuff. But um, I, I'm i I'm quite um, into fitness also, and I, I I was thinking of maybe getting a personal training license. I've, 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 um, um, because I, I mean, as part of acting also, like a lot of, you know, I've done a lot of very movement-based work, so things like motion capture and stuff. Mm -hmm. and fitness has, has always been like a, a really... I've done a lot of sports growing up also. I've played you, tennis. You could literally um, run your own YouTube and have like your own fitness routine if you wanted to. <laughs> because you, you, you're, you're... Well, you're combining two things you like if you think about it because you're doing fitness, but there's a bit of like an acting aspect to it too because you're on, you're on a camera. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, there, there, of course, there are fitness YouTubers quite a lot and stuff. It's, it's, it's a big industry. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think in the end, I, 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 I am passionate just about also just general, actual like health and fitness because it's such an important part of all of our lives, right? Like in the mm -hmm. end, also having a knee injury and and things, and I had shoulder surgery as well when I was nineteen, and um. I mean, the truth is, if we don't have our health, you know, we can't enjoy anything, really, right? I mean, um, so I think that's such an important part of, of all of our lives, right? Um, 
so to kind of help people maybe also keep that up um can be quite rewarding i'm sure but um i'm not sure if if i mean uh, it's something i've been thinking on and off about um for the for the last few years but um um yeah I, i'm i'm still focused on on kind of um getting more acting work and and i i'm actually finally recording a, a, a voice reel a commercial voice reel this month which i haven't Ooh, done before nice um yeah so i'm i'm planning to kind of really go a bit more all in on on getting more voice work um because i know a lot of people that do it and it can be a lot of fun and quite lucrative also so um let's see how that goes I guess, I guess that's actually a good that's actually a good thing to talk about is like do you have any tips mm. for anyone interested going into it can be anything it can be voice acting acting mocapping like anything like just any advice um, you obviously offer. we're going to be paying attention to the voice acting part because <laughs> that's what we do I mean like I suppose just like anything I think a lot of um, you know, being able to get work has to do with what do you, what do you, um, how do you show that you're capable at a particular job, right? You got to show people that you have um, either gotten experience or training, you know, or you've kind of consistently invested into that career in some way, right? So if you are, you said you work in customer support, if you're hiring someone that has never worked in customer support, yeah, maybe you can give them a shot or something, but they gotta like show that, you know, they've um, got some kind of inclination for that, you know. Um, so I think with acting, similarly, if you' gonna be hired for either voice acting or theater or whatever, if you don't have any experience, then I do think you know having training is just always good because um, you know, first of all, it gives you the skills. And second of all, it, um, you know, it shows people when you're applying for something that you're serious about this job, right? Um, because sometimes there's this um, um, uh, notion that, oh, it's acting is very, it's just like you, you're just talented or something. And of, of course, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you don't think that, but sometimes people, you know, have this thing, oh, like, oh, I don't have any experience, but I'm very good or something. You know, it's like, that's not gonna convince anyone, right? Um, yeah. So in the end, um, I think training and you know immersing yourself in in, in that um, uh, um and and trying things out you know practicing you know uh, um uh, voicing things you can just like what you guys are doing i mean just having scripts and um uh you know trying those out it gives you good experience but at the same time with training what happens is often you know, you might get some feedback and get directed and stuff, and that's really key, right? Like, yeah, it's great feedback. to do getting feedback and being able to take that on board and change, you know, because it's always good. It doesn't matter if you're doing voice acting or screen or theater. What you're looking for is not necessarily people that are, you know, that can do a convincing um, job of something. But also people that you can work with, right? So if somebody goes in and, and says like, um, you know, um, whatever your t-shirt says here, I'm 30 or 40 years old and I do not need this, you know? And then if somebody goes, that that's like one interpretation. And then somebody says like, all right, um, do it, but be a bit more emphatic about it. And then if you read it and you just do it and say, I am 30 or 40 years old and I do not need this. And you say it in exactly the same way. Yeah. Then that that's like not someone you can work with right you need them to like i am 30 or 40 years old and i do not need this god damn it you know like you need somebody who can take your direction on board and do something with it so um anyway i think it's to a me measure it's of flexibility exactly you know so i think in the end uh, training is, is the main thing you know um like wherever that might be like i think if you if you want to do a uh, voice acting it, it you know it's great to also uh, do theater you know do amateur dramatics like learn shakespeare or whatever or do other like uh, local um, courses that you can do um understanding how you know to analyze text and 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 um, how to build character and, and, and however you do that um but um I mean, I don't know. I, I went through, you know, drama school and I, I did that route and I think that worked for me. But this, if, if people there don't are... want to do that, there's 
Yeah, that's the thing. There are people who just like, they have fantastic voices, but maybe they just don't want to be on camera. And that's why, you know, I, I a lot of absolutely a lot of times I always get like I do hear from other voice actors or actors in general just say, you know, have yeah. stage play and stuff. But then sometimes I sit there and ask, is there other alternatives or is that my only of choice? Course. Of course. No, I mean, like, look, uh, I'm sure there are people who just do voice acting as well, you know, um, and um, I think in the end having a good voice reel i'm sure and like i said i'm only recording mine later this month and and i've already been acting for quite a while um but um you know getting a good voice reel is of course then your your um, portfolio something that you can show to people mm -hmm. um and i i mean i've basically hired a guy who who's recording the voice reel and he can also offer coaching truthfully anybody can do that right oh, that's you could nice, go yeah. and hire someone and like you can google uh, and be like oh voice re recording in florida wherever you you know your, your city is or in texas and i'm sure you can find a studio that does that right yeah and you can give them a ring and speak to them and be like do you also offer coaching you know like um you know maybe i want to do a few coaching sessions before i like even i i i hired a, a coach over the last few weeks um and you know i've been she's been helping me selecting scripts and stuff and 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 um um you know i went and tried to find commercials that suit me and and, and you know you you just try things out you find a script you voice it um and listen to it back and you think like is this any good would i buy this product is this convincing um yeah, and you just kind of become better at using your voice by by doing all of that, you know. And I think the important thing also to remember is just it takes time, you know, like anything to get good at. Um, and, you know, it's good not to be impatient, you know. You need to, it's it's the whole classic, it need, takes 10 years or 10,000 hours to become a master at something, right? That doesn't mean you can't get good after a couple of years. But, um, you know, patience is, is, is good, you know, um, if, but if you, if you want to work in voice acting or whatever, I'm quite sure, um, if you work at it that you can, you know, um, with some basic talent, I suppose, but, um, above talent is always, um, lots and lots of hard work to, to, and self-reflection and, and all of that, um. That's my take. Um, was a bit of a rant. No, no, no. That was very good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I really appreciate I actually... hearing hearing that all because you know, like a, mm. some we 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 we've heard you know the whole like yeah go into stage play and stuff like that all the time. But sometimes you mm. know, sometimes we just don't like being in front of people. That's just how it is. Sure. You know, so it's really nice to hear uh, other you know, alternatives and just advice yeah. for people who like, who are just very shy or just struggle with just being yeah. on screen. This is Absolutely. also the first I've heard of voice reel studios and voice coaching. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I am very no. amateur. I I'm just do this on YouTube and Twitch for fun. Yeah, yeah, we, do no, this, I mean, yeah we mostly do this for fun. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, ev everybody can get training. At, like, I mean, you, there's also, I mean, I can, I can, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to advertise or something, but there's also there's a website called uh, Gravy for the Brain, for example, or like something like um, what is it called? Skillshare something or U Udemy like um, there, there's. Oh, there's... yeah, I know. I actually have an account on Udemy. So, yeah. Yeah. I know. About like that. all mm -hmm. of these websites have courses for voice acting um, and you can just of course, they're not going to be interactive. They're just teaching you mm -hmm. um but they're a good place to start you know to just kind of get get um get an idea of of what it involves um and also i mean you spoke about like you know what do you what do you would you have a ritual or something you know like just sort of basic vocal warm-ups vocal training and stuff because um i mean i i trained at drama school and and there of course you have voice training like you know every day and you get very familiar with how it works. We had singing training as well, and you understand how, you know, how your larynx work, lifting your larynx and lowering and tilting, you, whatever they all call the thingings. <laughs> I forgot what they are. But um, <laughs> you, learn, you learn just how to do it, you know, like be, in order to 
use your vocal apparatus well, you know. Um, uh, and in the end, I, I compare it uh, often to, you know, uh, that the, f because I have that, of course, physical training, like I said, fitness and stuff. And if you take anyone, let's say someone that is uh, doesn't do any fitness and you say, like, can you do a push up? And they may be able to do or they may not be able to do it. If they're not able to do it, I would argue that most people, unless you have like a physical um, uh, issue or illness or something that doesn't work or disability, most people could learn to do a push-up. And if they learn to do one push-up and they tra train hard, I'm sure they can do 10 or 20 or even more than that, right? And um, But we all know that that takes time, that both the, you know, uh, 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 motor skills and the strength. And it's a physical thing and using your voice is just as much a physical thing just that the the fine motor skills and the muscularity and and everything is much more minute and small right it's all and it's all hidden in your neck and and um but your body is involved just as much you know if you have tension in your body your voice will sound different you know so learning all of that um is is um I mean, it's it's it can be a lifelong study, you know. Like there, there's voice voice professionals who train, um, who study study the subject, and and it's, uh, um, yeah, you can you can always learn more, um, and um, yeah, so that that's that's definitely what I would say. Train, you know, and and and, and learn, and be patient. Oh, that was very good. Thank you. No, I <laughs> no, that was great. Thank you. Do. That was great. I I really no, appreciate great. it. No, you're welcome. I mean, I don't know. I guess, like I said, because it's I've been in, in this industry for a while. And like, of course, a lot of my friends are all actors. So I guess a lot of this is so obvious to to me because I've been involved with it for so long. But um, with it, um, but then remembering, yeah, I, before I did all of that, I also had no idea. <laughs> that's, that's, um, <laughs> which is so obvious. That's so obvious, obviously, you know. Um, but that's how it works with any field that you become specialized in, you know, things that are obvious to you wouldn't be to someone who's not as involved. That's, that's, that's normal, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, um, I look forward to hearing you guys doing more voice acting and <laughs> we, know, will, we will try and stuff like that. Yeah, no, of course. Um, you well, we do have videos acting. every Tuesday and Thursday, apparently. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, it is that is uh, that is as much time as we have. So, well, where um, do you so do you st stream on Twitch or what? Or okay, or so so I mean, we can throw that out there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so actually, where we're th this time slot that we're having this interview, which we're about to run time run out of time, unfortunately. Ah, yeah. Yes. No, it's okay. We'll, we can go over. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's like um, what. This time slot is we only meet up once a week, and that's usually Sunday. And right. we will sit down. I will screen share through Discord, basically, the game. Because oh. there's because the thing with Twitch is that there's a lag. And Discord, when you screen share uh, on, on Discord, there is still a little lag, but it's not like 10 second lag, right? Before something it's, it's happens. It's as real time as possible. Yeah. So right. basically, I'm the one controlling the game, and we're all just watching the screen share, and we just read the dialogue when our character comes up. And we do that for about two hours, so that gives us about two videos, two or three videos, depending on how crazy it gets, because it gets well, we crazy. Missed the, we missed two weeks, so three videos. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, stuff happened that was out of our control. Uh, Stuff so, happened involving internets going out and airports leaving us stranded, and yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we. So good. at this moment, we are we are recording at least three videos every Sunday. So that's that's pretty much our routine. So uh, we Ooh. record we record Sunday, and then I sit down and cry as I edit everything on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it, and then they just go on YouTube. But as far Fair as enough. streaming on Twitch, it's usually just. Like about an hour, less than an hour from now at three o'clock, assuming we don't go over. That's it's fine if we do. Mm -hmm. It's it's Sunday. It doesn't matter. I'll usually stream something on Twitch for like four or five hours. I think right now we're playing Sonic O Six. Fair enough. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, with and Twitch Saturdays at night, 
at around 10 p.m. Central. Look at this I'll guy advertising. Play... <laughs> what? <laughs> he was asking, you were asking about Twitch, weren't you? Yes, yes, I was, I was. All right. Well, there you go, Tysa. God, <laughs> so rudely interrupting me. <laughs> I'll usually play a Zelda game, Zelda games with my wife. Okay. Because I, I didn't play a lot of Zelda games, and for a while they frustrated me because it was all Nintendo I ever paid attention to for a while. It felt like... Obviously, that's not true, but when I was younger, that's that's how I felt. But my yeah. wife loves Zelda games, so the agreement we came to is uh, I'll play more Zelda games if she sits with me and while I'm streaming them. Yeah. And we've been having a lot of fun. Sometimes I pop in to watch. <laughs> We just kind of pick these voices on a whim, honestly. It's not like, sure. like, like Tysa gives us some slight direction, like, oh, they're gonna sound like this, they're gonna sound like that. But at the end of the day, just kind of, what direction we decide to go with it? Like, what was it? What's his name? Uh, McGill. If if I was like, you a told me that McGilded. you told McGilded. me that McGill was gonna have an Irish accent, and I'm just oh. like, hmm. Well, I can't do an Irish accent, <laughs> but he looks like a circus ringmaster. So I guess now he's gonna sound like this because this is what I decided he's gonna sound like. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, if I was more, like, actually doing this as a career or something like that, I would be a little bit more thorough with direction, but, like, it's, I don't want to yeah, be, just I don't want to be, serious. I, I wanna be no. serious, I don't want to be serious, I'm just like, okay, this guy is an Aussie, this guy is Irish, this guy has, this woman has a uh, This guy is the ringmaster, and this woman is Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh, but with a higher pitch. Yeah, she's she's got a she's got a she's got a Cockney accent basically. That's, that's all I got. That's, there, that's the closest this, I can get to a Cockney accent. I there are, going through the Grace Attorney is just wild for me because I don't I don't recognize a lot of accents, uh, particularly from the EU. So, oh boy, it was funny trying to read certain like characters like uh, Gina in particular because they they put her accent in the dialogue itself. So sometimes it's a little hard to read what she's actually saying. Is it Gina, uh, Gina Lestrade? Or yeah, Lestrade? yeah, Gina, yeah. Gina Lestrade. Because I, I don't think, like, I haven't heard her voice yet. Have I heard her voice? She doesn't just... have a voice, actually. Oh, okay, she doesn't, okay. She doesn't. No, no, no. It's just, it's it's just, just, it's we're just we're in the text. The dialogue that we're reading the text that doesn't right. have voice acting and just giving them random voices. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I just love that attention that the localizers put into, like, yeah, making these accents so unique even those i have friends who are like not native english speakers they actually have yeah. admitted that sometimes they do struggle reading the localized dialogue because they don't recognize that oh like, you know. okay no yeah when it's like hey yeah are you having that or something or yeah when they drop the atheists or something and they, just, they just drop letters and it's like or like i or th like they do they or the or, Cockney rhyming slang also yeah That's, or yeah. like any have like a butcher said this do you know what that is have a butcher said this no, never. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Like we don't we don't know a lot of British phrases that's, or say or term of phrase or anything. Yeah, so some of that gets lost to us. Butchers is is uh butchers means to look, but I forgot why. Do you know what Cockney rhyming slang is? No. It's <laughs> okay, so look, look, it's a we're, really we're... weird thing. Like I also when I first heard about it, it's like the fuck is that? <laughs> um, for example We're just raising so, the rating of this. <laughs> When you, like, Cockney rhyming slang is that there are, like, other words that rhyme with words, and then you use those rhyming words to mean those other words. So I'll give you an example. Pots and pans means hands. So, you know, like, oh, your pots and pans are so dirty means, like, your hands are dirty. Or, like, apples and pears are stairs because it rhymes with stairs so it's like i'll go up the apples and pears and get me some i don't know tape or something just you know? say stairs <laughs> no this but it's, in it's, retrospect it's, makes austin powers make a lot of sense it's it's cockney it's literally that it's slang so it's yeah. like <laughs> they they've they've replayed the, so the words have become new meaning so it's i guess you could call it like pig latin like only people that know it know it yeah and understand but then you have a sort of secret language with each other I don't know if oh, there was Oh, that a... explains so much, though. Yeah, like, so butchers means... Uh, oh, now I know. It's butchers hook. Look. It rhymes with look. So butchers hook means to look, but it became shortened. So butchers means to look. So that's... In the game, actually, it comes up. Like, I think it was just in the, in the, in the pawn shop. 
where they say like have a have a butcher said this or something like that man we need to we need to get mark into our thing so he can just tell us about all these british things that we don't know <laughs> because like, <laughs> I, I, still I don't know if i know all the british things but look, they look up cockney rhyming slang it's really weird uh i only have two questions left anyway so like is there anything you can talk to us about about any upcoming projects that you want to tell us about or is it just anything you want to just talk about anything upcoming about yourself or just like advertise yourself this is the advertise upcoming, yourself this is the advertise yourself section pretty much <laughs> you know i mean the games i'm definitely not allowed to talk about nba um, and um the what else i mean i did it i did it i filmed a little film last year um it's called little english um it's an indie film I don't know when it's coming out though, so no idea. But maybe look out for it. I don't know. Um, I did. I did a small part in that, but um, yeah, it seems like like it might be a fun film. Um, um, but other than that, don't have really have anything to advertise. I think. Okay. Just hire me. I don't know. <laughs> it's been my pleasure. So uh, um, no, it, 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 it's it's no no. It's thank been... you. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that you took the time to talk to the both of us, honestly, and we learned a lot. Uh, yeah, it's been wonderful having you. Yeah. No, uh, it's been wonderful being here digitally, virtually, and all that. <laughs> the, if anything, we have so many questions we never got through, but this one I definitely do want you to just look over was that German song I sent you. So, the, <laughs> okay, here's the context. Well, you that, did say that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, here's the context about that song. Is The thing is, is that it's just background. It's just background music. for <laughs> And... I don't know German, but I have friends who know German who said it was very strange. I, I don't know what I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's based off of anything in in real life or if it's just a bunch of nonsense of German because you know. It is it is very random. I did I I, I pull it up on I was on YouTube here. Um, was the hermit im Schwarz wie ich geboot Brot und wie ein Feuerberg den Schlund ist mir verbrannt a Hopfen deine Wut. It's it's very, but it's like a whole. It's uh, it's, it it's basically. No, well, just... I'm actually I'm listening to it for a moment. Sorry. No, you're good. This is so weird. I don't know why it's. Mir I don't. Brand, a hopfen deine <laughs> <laughs> I. This is so weird. That's the thing, sorry, though. Go on. There's there's no real context for it. It was just there. There isn't. It, it, like in when 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 you get to it, I'll, I'll tell you right now. It's in case four of the second game, and the it second one, okay. yeah, and it's just playing on on a, a a gramophone. That's it. That's all it is. It's just <laughs> it, there's oh, no. So I weird. I don't know what the lyrics are saying. If there's any context, like do you what do you? Like, I don't know German, but you do. So I'm just like, what are these lyrics actually saying? Because like, as far as I know, it's just there for background noise, which is such a very interesting choice because that's that's that was in there in the Japanese version, and it was kind of I don't know, it was just there. Maybe was they're even... just happy to be here, Tysa. <laughs> but it was German in the Japanese one as well. Yes, yes. They did. They I mean, I... they didn't change. Like, I'll tell you right now, the localization didn't change anything. That was there in the Japanese version. Yeah, and I don't I don't know what the lyrics are saying. So, I mean, give me the black beer. I I said, and it's it's like a fire mountain. <laughs> what is this like? It, it's like a bar burned. song. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's kind of what it sounds like, right? It's like a pub, um, like a pub no? song. Like, give me the beer. I said to you, it's like something. Blah blah blah. I don't know. It's weird to translate. Port and and fireback. Um, it burned my throat, um, and then hops your anger. <laughs> um, Hamitim Knaka. I don't know. See the here translation. It's difficult. Um, but den her den Scheitel dich gelob und auf den ersten Streich alle Seiten es zerriss wie Ode an die Wut. It's very kind of like it's like old German also. So it's it's like not old German, but um, um. Yeah, not not how you speak nowadays. It's a bit like sort of sounds like Shakespeare sort of. It would be like you know that that the, yeah, uh, not yeah. how people speak anymore yeah. necessarily. So, uh, yeah, this was actually one of the one of the bigger fan requests was to ask since you knew German if you would sing this. Uh, I mean, that's like, up to I, you like if I said, you want. I, I mean, it, I can if I play it in the background, then I can 
Team Schwarz, wie ich gebot. Boden wie ein Feuerberg, den Schlund es mir verbrannt. Ach, Hopfen, deine Wut. <lacht> Herr, mit dem Knacker ich befahl, hart wie ein Diamant. Den Zahn in zwei Esses brach, o über deine Wut. Herr, den Scheit holt ich gelob, und auf den ersten Streich alle Zeiten zerriss die Ode an die Wut. Amazing. No idea what any of that meant, but that I was mean, I, I literally just like played the video and like sang along, so I didn't practice that or anything. No, but no. it's uh, <laughs> again, but it's none of us I mean, know it's German. <laughs> it's completely. I guarantee I you, I don't under, I did not understand a single word that was just said. I mean, but it was lovely. It says, "Give me the black beer I ordered. It burns like a fire mountain, or it, it bubbles like a fire mountain. It burned my." Mouth, um, oh hops, your anger, give me the thinging. I ordered it was hard like a diamond and broke the tooth in two. And then, oh, Eba, Dino, I don't know what oh, Eba is. It probably means something old. Oh, dude, your <laughs> anger, <laughs> um, give me the um, the firewood, I said, and the first time aus den ersten Streich alle Seiten ist zerrissen. It, it tore the strings. Oh, damn you, anger. <laughs> Hang on, is this a song about how a dude ordered a beer and it was so hot that it pissed him off? <laughs> I don't know exactly. <laughs> well, the second, the second half is kind of about... The second half is then about... I don't know, it's about anger. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe maybe someone who can't like drink beer very well because I don't know maybe it burns well, them. I don't, I'll don't tell know. you right now you 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 sung the song and you've probably made a lot of people happy and I'm very sorry for future videos of you of probably people having Ria Noski daughter Huddle sing this song because that's probably okay. going to happen. <laughs> really? All right, fine. <laughs> Would you I like almost feel like I should do a better version of it, but it's fine. <laughs> I people it's okay. people. I mean, we, uh, it's a really unfortunate. I'm only joking. I'm not that, I'm not that self-conscious. It's, it's just really unfortunate you couldn't come to the Netherlands, uh, convention. Like, I was oh. actually, yeah, I was planning to, but I'm telling you right now, if you ever had a proper panel, people will ask you to just do lines, whatever, <laughs> or make you read certain things, or tell, tell your best friend happy birthday on the phone or something, because that Yeah, I've, that I've had a few requests for that already, like, I've, I've done it a couple of times, um, but, um, I don't really mind, it's not that, I mean, it's weird, because I'm, I don't know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's just me speaking, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> um, but, we um, all and we all love you, <laughs> pretty oh, much. Thank you. No, that's very I, sweet. I, 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 mean, I don't know. I've been watching the reception. It's just like, oh, because like it, it, it was your kind of your first experience about that kind of exposure, right? With yeah, the sort yeah. Of thing. So. Yeah. No, it's been it's been very interesting, kind of to um, um, yeah, and, and people have been very kind, um, you know, and for the most part, yeah. And I mean, you said you said yeah, there's some people who weren't happy with it, but that's that's fine. That's I'm, just how like, no one not. No, no, but like I said, I've, 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 I've been, you know, because I've, yeah, I've worked on stage for a while, and I've had um, some good reviews and some absolutely terrible reviews. So yeah. I, I've been there, done that. I know that you know you can't please everyone, and it, 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 you know, you don't take it to heart. It's just, it's just how it works. That's, a, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. You just can't please exactly. everybody. So, but like, so, so far, I feel like every, at least with the English voice cast, of people, a majority has been just full support. Yeah. Not even just for you. you. Not even just for you, but for like everyone else I've seen so far. Yeah. No, absolutely. And and I think it's it's also um if people don't like it, they can just play the Japanese one, right? I think. The option uh, is there. 
Uh, exactly. It's like, I don't like the voice, then turn it off. No, but, fine, I, I guess, but I find it interesting. The magic of video games. You can just choose what language you listen yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Pretty much. So. All right. I'm, oh, man, I'm sad. We're going to have to wrap it up now, unfortunately. Aww. I know. Don't be sad. It's okay. No, life goes I on. Had, no, no. I just had a good time. Even without me, life goes on. Don't worry. Look, look, I had a good time. I mean, I don't know about, great. I don't know about Lewis and you, but like, this was great. I had fun. And I'm sad that it's, uh, we have to close it out now. So, but I thank you so much for taking the time out just to sit down and just talk Happy to us to. about, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I appreciate hey, like it. Like I said, we're just three humans on this planet talking, right? That's just how it works. That's pretty yeah. much it. All right. Yeah, All right. I everyone. enjoyed it. And uh, Same. for everyone else who was sitting here watching and listening to us this entire time, thank you for listening uh, in. And I don't think we're watching anything, but you, you get the idea. Thank you again for sticking around to listen to us. And uh hear about uh mark's experience and his life and everything uh please like and subscribe and thank you don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified for all of our latest <laughs> videos gosh i'm sorry i should have to giggle because i've not had this before <laughs> I I'm very awkward at doing that too. I never put that at the end of the video. No, I, I always do you forget. know how many times I've heard Watch it's, Mojo say I, that? I know I've I've heard it so many times. I feel like I do. People still need a reminder of that. Like I, 